Let's get back to our Youth Day special coverage, the new faces where we meet young trailblazers finding new ways to live. In this episode, Li Jiaming speaks to Zhang Ying, a female Go player who has encouraged young people with her own experience. Zhang Ying is a Go player who does not have a glorious career record. But she does attract a lot of young people to rediscover this traditional Chinese game. So what is her magic? I embarked on a journey with Zhang Ying to her Go world, trying to understand her popularity beyond this universe. It all started with this little girl who is fond of and good at playing Go. Like many of her peers, Zhang Ying started to practice Go at an early age. Around six years old, that's when I started playing Go every day, which I've been doing since I can remember. Two years afterwards, when I was eight years old, my teacher advised me to try the professional path, saying I could probably be a pro. At 10 years old, she quit school and chose to undertake professional training. Since then, her life was all about black and white, win and lose. I used to feel a lot of pressure and anxiety about Go in the past because you have to think about how to win the game. Don't talk about traditional culture. Back then, for me, if you couldn't win, you had no job. No matter how well you perform in the process, did you end up winning? China has some 300 registered female professional Go players. To try to become one of them, Zhang Ying took part in the entrance contests for eight years. But she quit what she called the narrow path of professional playing one year after her qualification, since she has lost most of the pro games. So why did I eventually give up? Over those eight years, my performance gradually declined, coupled with some practical reasons. This disappointment in competitive goal and in my personal state kept accumulating. Then, when it reached a critical point, I naturally felt it was time to let go. Instead, she took a popular path, teaching Go online. Then, a live streaming video went viral in which she burst into tears as her not-so-successful professional career was mocked by some netizens. Surprisingly, the plot has twisted as more people began to voice their support and sympathy. Her experience has resonated with an increasing number of young people. I used to have a long pursuing goal, but I gave it up. And I knew Zhang Ying didn't give up trying to become a pro for eight years. I was touched by her experience. She is now a goal commentator, taking a third person view of the contests. Her popularity has brought younger attention to this beloved traditional game. Because of her, I began to learn more about Go. As I know more about the game, it has become one of my hobbies. Her influence seems to be widening. And the Zhang Ying phenomena is also embraced by many senior practitioners. Being a professional Go player is far more difficult than getting admitted by a top university. We applaud Zhang Ying's achievements with both hands. An even legendary figure in the Go circle. I think it is positive. Go is still a relatively niche sport, however it has been promoted. I think Zhan Ying is impressive since her popularity has gone beyond this circle. We believe she is the best female Go player in popular regard. The story of Zhan Ying is encouraging young people to believe that you don't have to win to be a hero. For Zhan Ying, she is happy to see people having a growing attention to Go, the love of which she believes is deep in her veins.